That's right, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take an existing trading strategy in PineScript and you can add an indicator to it to make it a better strategy. And we're going to do that using AI. We are going to improve the Gaussian channel strategy from a max drawdown of 30 to a max drawdown of 14. That's right, guys. You're getting the source code for the Gaussian channel strategy so you can do all of that from a profit factor of 3.2 to a profit factor of 6. And we're going to go from 29% profitable trades to 50% profitable trades while having the same amount of net profit, which is actually amazing because that means that you make the same money, but with half of the risk. And that means you can put more money on the line. Now, this is a game changing video and I'm making it also because you guys requested me to make it in the last video that I produced, which you can find up here. I said that if we get above hundred likes, I'm going to make this video. Okay, we went to 10,000 likes, so I definitely have to make this video. And thank you very much, everybody, for your massive support since the last video. Welcome to everyone who is new on this channel. We more than doubled our subscribers. We more than doubled our Telegram members. It's madness. Welcome. Thank you very much. The energy has been well received. And I will take that energy and create more amazing content for you. And as always, guys, this is not financial advice. Crypto is risky. You can lose all of your money. But that is why you subscribe to this channel. You watch all my videos. You make sure to massage that like button because with the knowledge of this channel, your chances of success are always at an all time high. So here we go, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this perfect prompt for adding an indicator to a strategy and then also defining how to use that indicator on the strategy to get better results. And by the way, if you watch the previous video, then that means it's crazy, guys. It means you can take your strategy that you have already created, right? From an indicator to a strategy, the previous video. And now you can add another indicator to that strategy. And once you have a good one, you can add another indicator by applying the knowledge of this video multiple times, right? It's awesome if you're paying attention and I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT for that. I'm going to show you how to create the strategy in TradingView, how to put it on your chart and all of that. At the end, you will have the same result as I have. Well, if you do what I say, right? And then with all of that knowledge, you can create any kind of strategy you like. You will be unstoppable and you will dominate this market with your own personal strategies. Let's get started. So now how can we take the original Gaussian channel strategy and improve it to get to these better numbers? Well, first of all, and that is very important, guys, very, very important. What you cannot do or what you cannot expect is to go to the AI and say, make me a great strategy or improve this strategy somehow and make it better, right? Because the AI is not so smart, okay? So what you need to understand, first of all, is that the AI can be your developer, right? The developer replacement, which is very cheap, 20 bucks a month is not really nothing basically, because usually a developer is way more expensive, right? So when it comes to developing an idea that you have, then you can apply this, right? But what you cannot do guys, and I tried it, trust me, I wanted to tell you, hey, go to the AI and just say this and it will make you rich, but that's not possible guys, okay? Maybe in the future and I will make that video, so make sure to be subscribed. But so far, right, what you need to do is you need to look at the existing strategy and let me show you how that looks like. So the existing strategy, right? And you need to find issues with it, right? And there are issues with the Gaussian channel strategy. Let me show you actually this sideways channel here. You can see it was buying and selling quite a lot here, losing some money here, right? Here is a buying and selling trade, buying and selling. And the reason why is because it buys when the price closes above the upper line, okay? So if it closes below the line, it sells immediately, right? There is no protection against sideways channels or stupid trades, I call it, right? There is no protection against that. So there are a lot of trades that don't make any sense, but then sometimes there are great trades and that is why this strategy ultimately makes a good profit. But it is relatively risky because it has 30% drawdown and the profitable trades are only 29%, which is not optimal, right? So if you want to improve this, then you need to zoom in, right? You need to look at the trades and figure out how could I even improve this? What is the issue with that, right? And often what I do also is I look at the list of trades and then I look at which are the trades that had the biggest loss? And can I somehow come up with some indicator that I can add on top of this strategy and say, only when this indicator is in this way, then trade. Otherwise, don't trade, right? So I take a good basis, and that's a good basis, right? I take a good basis, and then I try to improve it by playing around with indicators. Now, 
you have to do the same, right? There is no way around this. You cannot simply go to the AI and say, make it better. It doesn't know what better is, right? It's like, it's basically like going to a developer that is not a trader and saying, make me a good strategy for trading. It doesn't, he, the guy doesn't know, right? It doesn't know how trading works. And the same is with the AI. It doesn't know exactly what you're looking for. Even if you tell it exactly, it will not know how to combine things. And what I found out is that the AI doesn't know the result of its actions, right? So yes, it will code something, but it doesn't know if that was better than before or worse than before. So it's not there yet, okay? And because of that, you need to add indicators to your chart to find which one might improve your strategy. So click on indicators, click on, you might be on favorites, click on technicals, indicators, and then here you can go through a ton of them, right? You know the usual ones, MACD, you have RSI, you have Bollinger Bands, you have all sorts of stuff, the chop zone, the whatever, right? So you can click on them and you can add them to your chart. And this is also the value that you are adding to your own strategy, okay? It's not like you get rich by not doing anything, okay? Because then everybody would be rich, right? So you can go around and add this thing. So for example, you have the MACD, right? Click on that. You have the RSI, click on that. You have the ATR, for example and so on and so on, right? You can add all of that and you can zoom in and you can say, if this indicator is like this, can it avoid the bad trades while still allowing the good trade? So go to the good trade, like for example, the beginning of a bull market. And if it does not trade the beginning of the bull market anymore, you're basically missing out on a massive pump, then it's not a good indicator and you go to the next one, right? And of course, guys, I have prepared the proper one for this video, yeah? And it took me a couple of days to figure it out. But that's fine, right? Because I will benefit from this forever, right? So put in the work, right? To zoom in and check out the indicators and the strategy and figure out the combination that would work for the strategy you're working on, right? So let's say you have the Bollinger Band strategy from the previous video because that was the best one. You put that, right, as the basis. And then you add a lot of indicators below maybe three or four maximum, four maximum, because otherwise you don't have space on the screen and you still have to see the chart, right? Because if you don't see the chart, then uh, you can't really make a decision, but make sure that it blocks the bad trades, right? And it still allows the good trades. And yeah, you have to zoom in, you have to scroll around, you have to spend a bit of time, get a coffee, make it happen, okay? Long story short, for this strategy to improve it, I have taken the stochastic RSI. And the stochastic RSI, by the way, it came to my mind because of Josh from our Telegram community. Thank you very much, Josh. You kind of inspired me for this. I was trying a lot of indicators. And then when I tried this one, it actually produced good results. So you're the man. Thank you for that. It also shows how important it is to be part of a community, which is why you should join our Telegram group. Link down below. And basically what I did here is I said that I want to avoid trading when the stochastic RSI is inside of this blue band. And the reason why I did that is because it helps me to avoid a couple of stupid trades. For example, this one here, where you can see the stochastic is in the middle of the blue band, and I would just ignore and avoid this trade here. If I turn on the new strategy, you see it does not have that trade. And there are a lot of these trades across the chart that would be ignored, and that's good, right, with this methodology. On top of that, I also said that I want to trade only when the band is green, which sounds pretty obvious, but I don't want to trade immediately when it's green. I want to trade when it's green and when the stochastic is above 80 or below 20. And I have to scroll way here to the current price action to show you what that means. And that is very nice because it actually avoids also a lot of stupid trades. So here you can see that the old strategy is buying when it goes above this upper line, right? But this new strategy is buying only when it is green, you see, so it avoids these trades here, which are fully useless, you can see, right? And also when the stochastic is turning to the right side, above 80 or below 20, right? And there are a lot of these examples where it doesn't buy immediately when it turns green, you can see here, right? So it would buy here, but it didn't because the RSI wasn't yet above 80, right? So it buys only here. So it's higher probability, and that is also why you have 50% profitable trades, right? instead of what we had before, which were only 29, right? So it trades less and it trades only when it makes sense. Okay, it sounds great, but 
how do I tell the AI how to now make this happen? Because it has to do a lot of things, right? It has to wait for the green. It has to then wait for the stochastic RSI to be in the right zone. It has to wait for the price to close above the upper line, which is another thing that I wanted to do. And all of that should be coded into the existing strategy using the stochastic RSI. Like how, okay? Well, that's why I do this video. In the next section, I will show you exactly how to create this improved strategy. Let's go. First of all, you have to take the code of the indicator that you want to use. Now hover over here the stochastic RSI and you can see the source code button. Click on that and then copy the whole code from here and now go to the prompt, the link is down below, and put the code here where you have the placeholder for the indicator. Boom, right? That's the first step. The next step is to scroll down and to also replace the strategy placeholder, right? And the strategy placeholder is, in this case, is definitely the Gaussian channel strategy. Now, the link to this document is also down below. Just copy the whole thing and put the code down here, okay? So now we have the strategy and the indicator. Now we need to combine them together and the glue between them is this red text here. And let me explain quickly, you already know what it does, but this is the only thing I gave the AI and it was able to create this improved strategy, okay? So I'm telling it, open a long position as soon as the Gaussian channel is green and the close price is above the high Gaussian channel band, right? Above the upper band. And also I'm using the proper wording, right? Because I say long position, right? I'm not saying buy or sell. I'm saying open a long position, right? You have to use the right wording, right? And then the high channel band, because that's what it's called, right? It's the band. And then also when the stochastic RSI is above 80 or below 20, okay? So that's all it needs to know to make it happen, right? And then also when to close the position, right? Close the long position. I'm not saying sell, right? I'm saying close the long, which is the professional way to say, right? When the close price crosses the high Gaussian band to the downside. What does that mean, right? So crosses is a special word because then it would basically do the following thing, right? It would say when the price comes from the top and crosses to the downside, which happened on this candle, right? Then after the candle closes immediately, it will close the long position, right? So it's not just it's lower than the line, it's crossing the line. That is a big, big difference, okay? And that's what I wanted to do. So those are the only two sentences that it needs to combine this indicator, right, with this strategy, which is freaking fascinating, okay? The next thing you have to do is just copy the whole thing, go to ChatGPT, and make sure to open a new chat, and make sure to select the O1 preview, okay? And then paste here the whole thing and click enter. And now it's thinking and doing its work. And meanwhile, you can massage the like button, subscribe to this freaking channel. And after it's done, I will show you the result. So let's have a coffee meanwhile, and I see you on the other side. Yay! We have some code, all right. So I'm not gonna read the code, right? I'm just gonna copy it once it's over and then we're gonna paste it into a fresh strategy in TradingView and then let's see what happens. Hope it works. Okay, so the idea is that it gets pretty much the same result that I have with my strategy that I showed you before on the chart. So you can do the same thing, but well, don't copy, I mean, copy this for learning, right? But create your own, right? That's much better. So it does something, whatever, right? And we just copy the code, it's now finished. We copy the code here, click on copy code, right? And then go back to, oops, go back here to trading view, click on strategy tester, click on pine editor, click on open, and let me put myself on the bottom here, click on open, and then click on new strategy, okay? So now you have a new strategy here and it puts in some code here, but you don't need it. Just delete it and paste the whole code you've got from ChatGPT. Click save, click save again. There are no compiling errors, which is amazing by the way. And now click on add to chart here, okay? To add all of that onto your chart and ba-bam. As you can see, it has exactly the same numbers as my improved strategy, right? We have a max drawdown of 14 only. We have profit factor of six. We have 50% profitable trades and we have 1,820 net profit, which is the same as the original strategy, right? Almost the same, but with way less risk, 
way more profitable trades. And then also we save on the fees, right? Because we pay less fees because we trade less. We trade only when it makes sense, right? So that is very important. So in order to show you that this is exactly the same, so this strategy here, the, the one here is mine and this one is the new one. And if I just switch between them, you see they have exactly the same outcome, right? So this is the way you improve an existing strategy by adding an indicator to it. You're telling the AI how to use the indicator and you don't need a developer to help you with that. Now you have absolute infinite possibilities with this, which is why I'm super happy to bring you this video. So guys, you see how easy it is if you follow these steps. I give you the prompt, I give you the strategy, and with that, you can follow this as a tutorial, right? But of course you will create your own, right? You can take the Bollinger Band strategy, you can take the RSI strategy, MACD strategy, whatever strategy you have created from the previous video, this one here, right? You have taken an indicator, you have created a strategy from it, right? And now you want to improve it. Well, this is the video that helps you improve it. You just have to go through tons of indicators and see which one is good. But again, that is fine because you create your unique version of it, right? And then you trade that, okay? Which is much better than following some other guy's strategy. Yes, Gaussian channel is there for people to get started, but can you do better? Yeah, you can do better, right? This is why I'm making this video. So with every video that I add to this freaking channel, I'm changing your life more and more and more. Okay, you don't need me, right? You now have the code, you have OpenAI, it's gonna get better, right? This is the worst it will be, right? So it will be better and better and better and better, right? So make sure you learn this software, these tools, and you take advantage of it, okay? Now, what can you do next if you wanna be in touch with me, with the community and so on? Make sure to join our Telegram group. The link is down below. It's a public group. It's madness, right? We have a lot of activity there, especially since my last video, which I told you went bananas. Let's see if this one goes bananas. I don't know. But I think this video is just as well life-changing as the other one was. And if you wanna automate this strategy and you wanna buy and sell when it buys and sells, then you should definitely check out Signum and you should check out the video that I will put after this one because it will show you how to take your strategy and automate it. It will take just five minutes and you can fully automate it and you will never have to click buttons for buying and selling again, especially for the assets that you have automated. And I have automated my entire portfolio because it's way better, okay? I've written my own strategies, I've written my own automation software, and you can benefit from this automation software. That is why I'm telling you, check it out. It's the next step, the final step. So you went from manual trading to hodling to DCAing, understanding that those two strategies are really bad, to creating your own strategy by watching my videos, right? And subscribing to this channel, right? And now you're going to automating those strategies, which is why this is the next video you should watch. Dream. Trading.